Welcome to Cake Playground, where it's all about the fun. This lesson is on how to make a pink octopus for this ocean preppy cake, shown here. This cute little pink octopus is made out of gum paste and fondant with some hand-painted decorations. It's going to sit on top of our cake. Let's start off by shaping the body. The body is made out of a 50-50 mix of gum paste and pink fondant. I use 6 and 8 inch round cake dummies to form the figures. This helps to give proper proportions to match the cake. To provide stability for the figures, I form them around a wooden skewer that's been run all the way through the cake dummy. We're going to use a piece of the gum paste mixture that's about the size of a tennis ball and round it and smooth it with your hands. And then use your fingers and the crook of your thumb and finger to form about two-thirds of it into the head of the octopus. Now you can slide this figure onto your wooden skewer. The wooden skewer will remain inside the figure to provide stability and support the figure on top of the cake. The skewer should run all the way from the top to the bottom. With a small paring knife, you're going to cut eight legs. Start at the neck indentation and run all the way through to the bottom. After you have cut all eight legs, you're going to separate them slightly with your fingers. As you work, make sure that you maintain the round shape of the head, that it doesn't become pulled and misshapen. Using your fingertips, shape the legs of the octopus. They'll be thicker at the top and thinner at the end. And then you can give them a little bit of shape like a curve sideways or a curve up. You can use a toothpick to hold the shape of the legs while the gum paste dries. The octopus looks like it has more movement if you shape some of the legs going up and some of the legs going sideways. So continue around the rest of the legs and form them in something that looks good to you. Let your imagination run wild. Keep the shape of the round head of the octopus. And here's what mine looks like. You can use a gum paste tool to smooth out the neck and to separate between the legs. You can use a little bit of shortening on your fingertips to smooth out any cracks or bumps or bulges that you don't like. The face details make this octopus. The eyes and cheeks are gum paste and the eyebrows and mouth are painted. We're going to start off with the eyes and cheeks. So I used a gum paste tool to mark the eyes, cheeks, eyebrows, and mouth, like this. Roll two balls of white gum paste into equal size. And then I use a mixture of Tylos and water to glue the eyes onto the octopus. You can use water by itself if you don't have Tylos. And then I use the end of my paintbrush to help press the eye into the octopus and shape it. The paintbrush also helps to get the gum paste off your finger. Next, I apply two even smaller balls of pink gum paste with tweezers and a gum paste tool. Use the gum paste tool to press and shape the irises. Next, I apply the cheeks with a different color of pink gum paste, also in round balls, and pressed on with the gum paste tool. I refer to the picture often to make sure I had proper spacing of the facial features. The eyebrows and mouth were painted on. I used a mixture of white gel food coloring and pink gel food coloring. I mixed them together using a very thin paintbrush and I just kept adding white to the pink until I got the desired shade that I needed, as you can see here. Using this same thin paintbrush, I painted the eyebrows over the eyeballs. Be sure and start off with a little. You can always add more later. Next, I painted the mouth and the little smile. Doesn't that look cute? 
Let the octopus dry until it's completely dry. It'll probably be at least three days. Then you can remove it from the styrofoam and you're going to cut the top skewer off with a pair of wire cutters. The bottom part of the skewer stays in to support the weight of the octopus on the cake. To cover the bump on the top of the head, I made a little bow, as you see here. When the octopus and his whale friend are completely dry, you can place them on top of this cake. Come back to Cake Playground for the tutorial on how this cake was put together, how to make the whale, and visit CakePlayground.com for other tutorials and the product list for this cake. At cake